What's up bees? So in this video we are going to be going over uh, rounds that should not be at the traders and they should be only found in raid. Now I'm going to be putting up the pen, the damage, the cost for each round and the first shot pen chance for class 5 and class 6 armors. Alright let's crack straight into it. Alright so first up is 995, 53 pen, 40 damage and a ruble cost from Peacekeeper of 2268. Um, that is, of course, converted from dollars to rubles to make everything apples to apples. So, the round is pretty damn good. High miles of velocity, plus 8 recoil, and it's just an end all, be all meta round, even though it's super expensive. Now, this round on the flea market as it stands is averaging 3k around. I maybe, you know, I would say make it a bit more rare to the price evens out around 35k just because it is a meta round. And I think if you're going to be running meta, you shouldn't always be able to run it, but have armor to stop good rounds. That's my opinion on this, and I'll make a whole armor video as well. So, 9 and 5. Now, M61 is a bloody beast of a round. Um, the most hilarious part of 995 and M61 is um, 995 is more expensive, but M61 is a way better round. Uh, it goes through slick on the first bullet, 64 pen, 70 damage. And it only costs 1386. So uh, maybe a little price adjustment is uh, indeed a thing that should be done with this round. This round should cost like 6k around because it negates the slick, which is 6 100k on the flea at any given time yes i know people say armors shouldn't be the end all be all i have this armor i will not die but when you're spending that much um money on armor it should be able to stop a round or two before it is useless in my opinion because then what's the point of having armor in the game if you've rounds so regularly available that just go right through the damn thing. So, yeah, make this super bloody rare on the flea, just like 993. And that's why no one complains when they die to 993, because it's hard to find, and it's, and it's expensive when you buy it. Alright, now we're going to track over to Peacekeeper. Alright, now SNB. 62 pen, 75 damage, 818 is the price. That round is really fucking good. And the only reason why no one complains about this round is because the, uh, the guns that it goes into are not, are not meta. As soon as they add a gun that becomes the meta for this round, it's going to be right with the M61 round and people will be bitching and complaining about this round non-stop. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's a round that it, it's just an end all be all good round for any SVD. If I use an SVD, I go to SNB. But I don't usually use SVDs because I find they are shit for most of the time. And it's just something that I use when I'm bored of using the Vector M4, HK, AP, um, MP7, and those meta guns. 7BT1. 70 pen. Sorry, 59 pen. 78 damage. 1000 rubles. Um, not much to say, um, if I keep on repeating myself, I'm gonna go crazy, I think you're gonna go crazy. So, 
again it goes through armor really easily with the tracer nothing too crazy there 7n 37 remove it please no one uses this round because it's so bloody overkill um it has 70 pen 72 damage so even if they introduce another level of armor which they could because the armor system uh ranking system that they use in this game is the russian version and i'm actually working on a video talking about armor in this game and how they should improve it uh there's actually a uh, level called class six plus which they could introduce if they wanted to unless they've said scrap that let's just make class six in the game class six and class six plus from real life so yeah this round is expensive but not expensive enough again if they introduce a um gun that becomes the meta with this caliber it will be too strong and they would have to make a found in raid so make a found in raid to where the price averages out to like what like 10k around i'm good with that let's move on spp for the good old val now this round is really good spp has 50 pen 64 damage and it costs 12.92 per round now i'm not gonna say remove it from proper and then hike the price up because the um the, the val is pretty uh, tied into cqb like it should be so i would say remove the round and try to make the price on the flea 2000 around be just because if you're not up close with the val um it's not really useful anymore as it should be so i would say yeah try to make it around, around the two thousand dollar price mark on the flea with a scarcity and go from there now I didn't realize how bloody cheap this barter was, and it's insane. Um, BP, 55 pen, 60 damage. I almost shit my pants. It is per round 937. You buy the strike cigarettes for uh, $7,500. And and you get eight rounds and you can do that 10 times per reset yeah uh, <laughs> don't buy spp guys go for the bp that's insane um yeah remove this from the trader and make these good old say 25k round for the same reasons val it's only good up close all right so now for APSX, 53 pen, 35 damage, 1037 rubles. Now, on the flea, it's sitting right about where I think it should be. It's anywhere from 2800 to 3k, um, and I would be okay with it being 25, 22 even, just because the MP7 is more of an up close gun it's not too versatile so even though the pen is really good it's the more of the situation where it's good in nine and five you know those calibers are good anywhere pretty much for the most part again because the guns are pretty moddable to make it you know viable in most situations and now this one round at proper and it's bs where i know this whole video is about removing ammo from the traders that are too op but five for five is rarely used just because the guns are such a letdown compared to other platforms 
and it's the rate of fire if they added the aek 971 it's a 545 caliber rifle that has a, a rate of fire of 900 rounds per minute if they added that gun i would say remove bs from traders but for now in this video that i'm talking about in this situation here i would almost argue in keeping it and nerfing the round a little bit all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video tell me tell me what what you guys think down below thank you for watching and as always have fun while you're gaming